What's going on guys? How you going legends? In the, back in the shed today, doing a little bit of an upgrade on Big Bird. Just so you guys can know, um, yeah, look, I'll show you. The simple terms are, once we get this camera to spin her around, uh, we do this. Anyway, I'm going to have to show you on this way. But anyway, so, as we can all see, if I can get it in there right, as you can tell, that is the old alternator and Big Bird. Now, for a lot of you people that are just getting into Allen 65 Hiluxes, this is an external, externally reg regulated alternator. Now, what has to happen now for Big Bird is, sorry, I can't get the angle right, but um, yeah, so anyway, like I was saying, this is an externally regged alternator that is coming out of Big Bird. Now, that's going to be going in the bin. Now, what's going to be getting replaced with that alternator is a brand spanking new alternator now that's an internally regged alternator so the difference are is from from what i understand what i've been talking to the alternator blokes is the external regged alternator that is factory on these 65s allen 106s and all that kind of good jazz is wet like the external and the internal both got a, uh, an oil pump on the back. I know that much. Now, the only major difference, as I can tell, with that alternator all the way down there is, um, so with an externally regged alternator, what happens is you have a, you end up having one of these. Okay, so this is what they call a, a voltage regulator. Now, I've been talking to the blokes, the guys over in Wangaratta who build alternators for Hiluxes, Land Cruiser Patrols, all that kind of good jazz. And they've been saying to me that our Hilux is running one of these voltage regulators from a factory from Toyota. You're actually losing between five to 10 amps because of this. Right, so what you do is you take this and you go in the bin. So right, now, once you've done that, you come over to here. Now, I'm gonna have to try and show you this. So, see this plug here? So normally, the external regulator plugs into this and then goes onto the fire, back of the firewall here, as you can tell by the how clean it is there. Now, it's a bit hard to show you because obviously the wires are so tight, but down there, where my hand is, is a blue, that green plug. So once you call the guys at Auto 8 in Wangaratta, they're the guys who I've gone through with the alternator and the conversion. And that is, you've got to cut three wires and run three brand new wires from that, that little green plug that I just showed you guys, all the way to your alternator. Now it's only three wires that you need. Now if you buy the alternator through Auto 8 in Wangaratta. When you do that, and if you talk to Wayne, he's an absolute legend. Wayne, if you are watching this, please make sure you do are. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, so Wayne helped me out over at Auto 8 in Wangaratta with this conversion. Now, I'm not going to probably get it all done tonight, but I'll probably get a couple photos of the old, old, the old alternator coming out. And the new alternator sitting in there ready for tomorrow. And once I've wired it all up, I'll show you guys the difference. And obviously explain to you the difference because uh, simple terms are that alternator was getting pretty bad and it was pissing out oil. All kinds of fucking shit was going on with that alternator. But in San Antonio, that alternator's lasted nearly three to four years. So not bad, not bad. But in Santa 2, I don't want to look at spending between three to four hundred dollars on a fucking brand new regulator just to end up having the same problem a couple of years down the track. So therefore, that is why I'm doing this conversion for the alternator. So changing it from external to internal. I should have done it a long time ago. I was going to do it. Just didn't have the motivation to do it. But we're doing it now anyway. So better, better late than never. So that's what's going to happen. And uh, 
I'll fill you guys in in the morning. So thanks, legends. Stay safe. And hopefully I'll catch you out on the track soon.